why aren't you executing these goals? Why aren't you putting into action what you want? This is your life. These are your goals that you came up with. Good morning, my beautiful people. If you're seeing this, it's probably in the morning on the West Coast side. How are you? My name is Janaea Bay, if you're new to my channel. If you're not new, hey girl, I see you. Welcome back. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about goals. Now, a lot of us have goals, but do you feel like you're having a hard time accomplishing your goals? Like you get excited to start a goal or you have an idea but it's hard for you to pull through or achieve that goal if that's you make sure you stay tuned into this video because we're going to talk about it all okay so first let's actually define a goal what is a goal and i really liked how google defined this so they said a goal is an idea of the future or desired result that a person or a group of people envision, plan, and commit to achieve. But you have to ask yourself, especially if you're a person who does have a lot of goals and you kind of start and then it doesn't work out and you start another goal, you have to ask yourself, like, why aren't you executing these goals? Why aren't you putting into action what you want? This is your life. These are your goals that you came up with. So why aren't you doing it? Like, what are you doing? So you have to ask yourself, are there distractions in your life? And then what are your priorities? For me, my distraction at one point was social media. And I would compare myself to everyone else who kind of had their career already. And I'm like, dang, I wish I can do this. I want to go on trips. I want to do what this person is doing. But you never know someone's situation, especially on Instagram. Um, I'm sure we all know Instagram is not real. Let me say that again. Instagram is not real. Like, no one's going to show you their struggles. You know, no one's going to... I mean, that's not cute. Who wants to look at that? Who wants to look at the struggles? I mean, I would appreciate seeing the journey or the struggles that people went through because I'm like, dang, she worked hard to get here. But yeah, no one's going to show that. They're going to show, you know, they're going on big trips, buying this and that. So that was a huge distraction for me. And I had to get rid of that. So if you're a person who's spending two or three hours on social media every day and comparing yourself, what are you doing? And add that up, those two to three hours a week, if you're doing that seven days out of the week, that's 21 hours. Since you're not even getting paid to be on social media or to look on social media, but you're on social media for 21 hours out of the week, that's a part-time job. Those 21 hours need to be going executing your goals, okay? And then your priorities. What are your priorities? I'm going to pause. Like, think about that. What are your priorities? For example, mine are school, trying to get my career, work, I gotta make my coins, I gotta live, you know, like I don't have anyone taking care of me, so I have to make sure I'm able to put a roof over my head, and then I have a little side business that I'm trying to get started. So those three things, those are my top priorities. And I make sure every day I do something to get me closer to those goals that I have. So you have to ask yourself, what are your priorities? And only you, you know, can figure that out. Once you know your priorities, then we can move forward. If you have kids or you're a single mother, your kids are your priority. Are you able to still accomplish your goals? Like say, for example, if you're a single mother or you have kids and you want to go back to school, are you able to go back to school? absolutely there's plenty of mothers parents who have went to school and are doing big things so don't doubt yourself you're capable of doing a lot more than you think okay so after you figure out your priorities and what you want out of life then you have to ask yourself is this goal really what i want only you can answer that 
I can't answer it, your colleagues, your classmates, your boss, your best friend, your grandma, your mom, no one can answer that but you. So I need you to really meditate and think deeply on what I just asked you. Is this really what you want? And I feel like a lot of people are like, yes, of course, it's my goal, of course I want it. But like I said, think about it. Because when I think, oh, I want, I want to get my nails done, you know, I want some new clothes, I make sure I work hard, I got the money to, to get it done. But sometimes I would put my goals to the side because it wasn't what I really wanted. Like I studied psychology at my university and I wasn't into it at all. And I'm like, my grades, they're showing. This is not what Janae really wants. So I had to change that. And I said, no, this is not what I really want. So I had to go back to my vision board and figure out, okay, what do you want? So after you figure out if this is what you really want and if the answer is yes, then we have to make some changes to accomplish these goals. So one of the things, and I wrote these down so I don't forget. <laughs> so one of the things I want you to do, if you're trying to accomplish your goals, is to get a planner. And I need you to plan out everything. I don't care if, it's, if you're planning on waking up at 5.30. I need you to write it down. So I got this really cute planner from Michaels. And what I like about this, I'm about to show you, is I told you guys my priorities. My job, school, and then the little side business I'm trying to do. So what's really nice is this planner kind of breaks it down. So it has errands here to buy, whatever you need to buy, calls or emails that you need to get to so you can write that down. And then it has bills that you need to pay. And the major thing, what does that say? Focus. So what do you need to focus on? You need to write down everything. One thing that I've noticed is when I have goals, especially big goals, if I don't break it down into smaller ones, um, I'm going to feel like I'm overwhelmed and then I'm not going to want to do it. So remember, write down everything, get you a planner. You can go to Target, Dollar Tree, Walmart, or Michaels, and just start writing everything down. Becoming organized. Okay? And then the second one, whew, this is this is not the easiest one, but you might have to start saying no to people more often, family, friends. Like, you're trying to accomplish goals. How is it that you have so much time to spend with friends going out all the time when you haven't even completed everything in your planner? Like, this is your commitment to yourself, sis. No one else is going to help you get closer to your goals but you. So if you're planning on, you know, going out all the time and being with friends and, you know, turning up, I mean, you can, but how are you going to accomplish your goals? And if you are going to accomplish your goals while, while turning up all the time, tell me how you're going to do it. Like, in the comments. Make sure you go to the comments and tell me how you're going to do it. Because I would love to know. Okay? And then, with accomplishing your goals, you are going to have to sacrifice a lot. Especially if you have a lot of goals. You are going to have to sacrifice. And you have to be willing to sacrifice as well. You have to. I'm sorry. Like, there's not really much else I can say about that. Like, for example, I've had friends invite me out and I'm just like, no, I can't go because I have to study. And I didn't study. I study every day because I'm trying to get my career. You know, I'm still in school. And it's like, dang, I wish I could go. But it's like, sis, you're committed to your goals. You're committed to bettering your life. So once you do um, achieve your goals, then, okay, you can go out here and there. That's fine. But the people who are going out already have their careers. <laughs> you know, they already accomplished what they were trying to do. So now you need to focus on what you're trying to do. Now, the third thing, or actually, so in addition with that, I said you're going to have to sacrifice a lot, but please do not ever, ever sacrifice your mental health. 
okay? You can be the most successful person and mentally you're just like done. And I found that that happened, like I was working so hard but mentally I checked out and I had to put things on hold for a little bit. So make sure that you are balanced, you know? you. Like, if you feel like you're stressed, it's okay to take a break. Go for a walk, this and that. What I mean by not going out all the time, like, don't party all the time when you know you have responsibilities and you have goals that you're trying to accomplish. But if you're stressed from studying, by all means, get out, de-stress, do something productive that will make you happy in the process. Okay? And then the fourth step is you're going to have to change your mindset that this will be easier this will come easy and i'm trying to be as transparent as i can because it's not easy if it was easy everyone would be trying to do it and if you see around not everybody's trying to accomplish the same goals this is not going to be easy and don't let that scare you don't let it discourage you but think of it as a challenge that you're going to accomplish you're gonna beat this challenge that should be something you look forward to okay so if something's difficult you got this you do you don't have any other option really if you think about it if you're trying to accomplish a goal whether it's difficult or not you need to do it and it's okay to ask for help you know it is definitely okay to ask for help if it seems very difficult but don't give up that's the whole thing don't give up on your goals. And then the fifth um, step or question, who are you hanging around? Like, honestly, your friends, your family, who's in your circle? Are they also accomplishing goals? Do they also have stuff that they're trying to achieve? And are they taking the necessary steps to achieve those things? You want to make sure that you do hang around people who are on the same page and who are on the same level as you. Because I have friends who are also trying to accomplish things, whether that's, you know, becoming their own boss or creating something new. Like, they're all accomplishing their goals. So when we all come together, we bounce ideas off of each other and it feels good so make sure you're very selective in who you're hanging out with especially if you're committed to achieving your goals you don't want to hang out with someone who's going to be a distraction to you so if you're studying all the time or you're working and you're also trying to do something on the side and you're hanging out with people who are just you know like doing their thing you know they do what they want and you know they're not really Right now, they might not have the same goals as you, but they're really fun to hang out with. Mm -mm. I'm not saying you can't be friends with them, but be selective with how much time you spend with that friend. That's all I'm going to say, because you do want to stay on top of what you need to stay on top of, which are your goals and your priorities so that you can achieve them, okay? And then the last one is this one. So number six, you need to get you an accountability partner. I don't care who it is. It can be your best friend. It can be your mom. It can be whoever. And that person, if you go to them and you're like, hey, I'm trying to accomplish this. Like, can you hold me? Can you be my accountability partner? We can both do this. So we hold each other accountable to what we're trying to accomplish. So say, for example, you want to wake up 530 in the morning. Every morning, starting Monday, your accountability partner is going to text you, hey, what time did you wake up this morning? And they don't have to text you every day, but they're leaving you with that question like, oh, you know what, dang, I did say I was going to wake up at 5.30 in the morning. They're keeping you accountable. You said you wanted to do this. Now they're asking you if you did it. And if you didn't, then you need to ask yourself, okay, the night before, what did I do? Like, was I on my phone before I went to bed? What time did I go to bed? Did I get enough sleep? And if I didn't, then you need to make changes. Get off your phone before bed because it's been proven that that's going to keep you up longer. 
the light from the phone. That blue light is, it's so dangerous, <laughs> especially if you're trying to go to bed early. And if you don't have an accountability partner, you're looking at me. Like, Janae will be your accountability partner. So in the comments, tell me your goals. Or you don't even have to tell me your big goals. Tell me what you want to accomplish. And then throughout the week, I'm going to check the comments and I'm going to be like, hey, so-and-so, did you do this like you said you wanted to do? If you didn't, you need to make changes. You have to. Okay? I hope to read some comments on what you want to accomplish and your goals. And we're going to do this together. It's going to be a journey. So let me know what you're trying to do. And I can't wait to look at the comments, but thank you so much for watching my video and taking the time out of your day. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!